Thank you. Any other questions? regarding the transfer of two million dollars from the City Parkway 5 Inc. fund balance to the City of Las Vegas Public Works Capital Improvement Program for construction of the box culverts along the Union Pacific Railroad um, from West Bonneville Avenue and West Ogden Avenue in Ward 5. The presentation. Members of the board, Scott Carter, Economic and Urban Development. As part of the next phase of infrastructure construction in Symphony Park, we will be installing the remainder of the box culvert, which stops right here on parcel L, and we're going to extend it all the way through to Ogden. There are sections of that box culvert that cannot be funded by the Tourism Improvement District, the Tourism Improvement, the bonds we sold from the Tourism Improvement District. So parcels 01 and 02 are within that footprint of the uh, outside, come on Scott exempt from the Tourism Improvement District, that we are unable to spend Tourism Improvement funds in that area. So since City Parkway 5 is the master developer, $2 million of its fund balance is going towards the $8.1 million cost of that box cover. City Parkway 5 currently has just over $2.8 million in fund balance. That should cover the $2 million contribution, leaving enough funds to cover this year's operations. Are there any questions? questions? Uh, I have one question. Um, uh, Gary, I'm going to Is the box culvert, the purpose of the box culvert is for storm drainage? Yes. Right now there's a 60 foot wide drainage easement. The box cul culvert is going to condense that down to 38, 38 feet, which gives more buildable area to all the property owners along Symphony Park. Installing that box culvert now helps define that property line and allows developers who buy these parcels, they've got a visual object in the ground, they can see where their property line is and design to that box culvert. Thank you. Uh, the record, Bill Arndt. Uh, Scott, the, the transfer of these funds from City Parkway 5 for this project expense, is there any negative impact to the planned parking garages on parcel B and parcel A? A negative impact for transferring? Is there, is there any impact to product which would cause the garage on B and L not to be full? No. Because the portion of the box culvert that this $2 million is being applied to is away from the garages, I don't see a negative impact. And that box culvert could be built in stages, but the cost of getting a contractor, mobilizing a contractor, and then demobilizing a contractor by putting that box culvert in all at once makes the flow continuous and saves some, some money up front. Thank you. But it is separate from those two garage locations. Is, is it open drainage right now? Yes. And so if there is a, a flooding event, the capacity of the box culvert is less than the current open drain? Is that right? You're stepping, you said you're stepping down the capacity from... No. Should, the grade is so gradual that it's 60 feet wide to allow the water to accumulate and be able to flow from south to north. So the capacity of that box culvert isn't less than the current drainage easement. We're simply going to condense the size of the drainage easement from 60 feet to 38 because the box culvert can handle the capacity, but it also enhances the size of the parcels that can be developed. Any additional questions? 
Is there a motion on item 8? Move to approve item 8. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item number 9 is discussion for possible action regarding a transfer agreement between City Parkway 5 Inc. and Skeetwood LLC to transfer the easterly portion of land of approximately 324 square feet located along West Mesquite Avenue, which is part of 418 West Mesquite Avenue, Ward 5. <clears throat> Scott Carter, Economic and Urban Development. This is a piece of land we already deeded. The cost of this transfer was within the spending capacity of City Parkway 5 on an administrative level. And the purpose of the transfer was simply to give emergency access to the back of our neighbor on a piece of property that City Parkway 5 owns along Mesquite. So this little hiccup on the property line, this little jog in the red, is what we deeded over to our neighbor to allow him emergency access from the back of the property. And in your packet, he paid us just over $1,600 for that real estate. The check has been received and deposited in City Parkway 5's bank account. Check on the record, so at the appropriate action that you are requesting of the board is ratification of the deed transfer. Yes, ma'am. Any questions? Discussion? Is there a motion on item 9, which would be to ratify the transfer? Move to approve item 9. Any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, discussion of regarding topics for future agenda items by the board, comments made during this portion of the agenda by individual members shall refer solely to proposals for future agenda items and any, any discussion shall be limited to whether or not any such proposed items are within the purview of the board and or whether such proposed items shall be placed on a future agenda. No discussion regarding the substance of any such proposed topic shall occur and no actions shall be taken. Is there any requests for future agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move on to item number 11, which is citizens' participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the board. No subject may be acted upon by the board unless that subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, please give your name for the record. The amount of discussion on any single subject as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited by the chair. Is there any um, requests for public comment? Seeing none, meeting is adjourned. Terry, thank you.